Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Growing Clip Bonsai for Seniors. Today we got an unknown terror attack. Today is February 29th of 2024. It's Thursday. It's 44 degrees Fahrenheit or 7 degrees Celsius at about 4 o'clock in the afternoon. And this morning around 7 o'clock was 22 degrees Fahrenheit or minus 5 degrees Celsius. Big difference in change. <laughs> Today we're doing the re emergency repot. It was this tree was torn out of the microclimate, right out of the pot. I found it in the yard upside down. I couldn't figure out this morning what it was. Then when I came back from doing everything, it was upside down like this. It's ice cold yet, so hopefully the roots are still dormant. You can see how the damage was done to it. So, and it's still green there. So let's get down to the nitty gritty and let's see what we can do to save it. So first of all, this root ball is hard like a rock. And I mean like a rock. So it's really in there good. Froze solid. So the only thing I think I can do is take this, these roots, cut them, because I can't do anything else to because it's so frozen inside the soil. I'm not going to try to thaw it out because I don't want it to waken up. So right now I'm just taking all these roots that are clinging to the screen. And just cut it. That'll go in the trash. Let me get the trash can over here. There we go. Get it over here. And the roots are still alive. I don't know if you can see the white on it. So at least nothing's growing yet. So I'm just going to clip it. All these roots. And being hard as a rock. I don't know if we can get anything done to it. But it was all torn to shreds. Not even the scissors are cut through this. And I don't want to ruin my other tools so all we're gonna do is take some of these roots off to give it a head start once it warms up more this thing was just ripped out it was just laying on the ground like this i can't figure out what that was i thought i threw something out and no it was i looked in the microclimate and there it was pulled out of pulled out of the pot so let me get a screen uh, my number seven mesh knitting mesh 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 boy time you can't talk today so we're just gonna cut cut through everything right here the good thing about the knitting mesh you can make a straight line because you just follow the lines on the mesh <laughs> ah, that's good stuff so all I'm going to do now is measure the pot where it was at so I can cut it about here. And that's in there like a rock, solid as a rock. So let's get this out of the way and see if we can get most of the stuff out. my brush so I'm going to paint that with my tight bond glue and you can see all the bugs that nested in there that's out so all we're going to do is put the mesh in here and I think I can cut it a little bit shorter so it works uh, Kevin's in the house I don't know if he'll make a guest appearance up on the table like he usually does. So I'll get that in there. Still a couple of notches short or too long. But these screens are going to be good for little bonsai trees. Kevin, what you doing, buddy? Exploring? He is exploring. So we're going to take this tree, put it here. We're going to get some fresh soil into there. Here. 
put it in. Let me see how deep it is. Yeah, this was really a... I don't know if I can break it off more. Nope, that's like in there like... In like point. There's Kevin. He's always keeping an eye on me. can't get this through. I don't want to damage nothing else. So, we can break it. Nope. Not even trying to shave it. So let's see if I can just shave a little bit off the side. No, I cannot. Well, that's, that's going to have to go in kitty corner. Something like that. Or can we get it in like this about there and we'll go from there yeah Kevin wanted to see if I was doing everything right but you know Kevin Kevin is in the house I'm gonna say Tom you didn't put the Mikus in well this is frozen like a rock so I'll use the water soluble one once it starts to wake up and just for now, just to get it going. In the corner there. Try to get it the best we can. Just till it thaws. And then I'll put it back in the microclimate and see what I can do to protect it. First, we're gonna we're gonna seal all the wounds with the uh, with our uh, tight bond wood glue. All the broken stuff. I'm not gonna cut them. This thing is frozen solid. Frozen solid. Okay, so we got all that there. A little more just in the case this is just our mix mix from the old soil that we rejuvenated a little bit and now because I added some sand to it I'm just gonna push it in here because you got to use your fingers on this one and I'll try to put a little bit more soil on the top and see what I can do to save it from being dug up, uh, pulled out again. You can see that big cavity there. And I gotta really push that in. Hey, you're saying 44, Tom. Yeah, but it's still cold. With the wind, it makes it feel colder than what it is. But what are you gonna do? And I'll get it back out there for tonight. All the leaves were pulled off of it and everything, but, well, that's life. That's life in the big city. <laughs> that's life in the, the windy city. Okay, so what the exact tree is, I have no idea. The tag is all gone, chewed, the, chewed up or whatever it's been blown away on, so... All I can do right now is to try help save it my roots. And I'm just going to put some torpedo sand up on there. Keep the roots down. Get it off of there. The unknown strikes again. I know I seen a big raccoon in the yard. I mean, it was big. That was the body without the head. I don't know where that thing came from. We never had raccoons in the city that I seen this close into the city. So I don't know where it came from. The dogs chased it away last night. So that was good. So all we're going to do is get some of this in. 
Let's see if Mr. Elephant can give it a little bit of water. Just on the dry stuff. Because it's going to have to sit out into the microclimate again. I don't know if I have enough leaves to put on the top of it, but I'll, whatever I can put on there, that's what I'll put on there. The unknown terror strikes again. Good grief. Well, hopefully this will help it a little bit. It being frozen solid, maybe the, ro the roots haven't started growing, so that's good. So they'll never know what happened to it. Hopefully, hopefully. In the microclimate, it's nice and shady, so this will give it a good chance to recover. Just like that. Then I got some plastic uh, whiskey glasses from... Uh, the Dollar Tree. So we're going to pour our glue in there to try to seal it up. No, I'm not going to cut anything on it yet because I don't know if there's any buds in here that'll help it to grow or if it'll bud back. It's the chance we got to take. I'm going to say, Tom, if it doesn't work, you're going to waste soil. No, I'll just mix it up again. So now, no, not that, Tom. <laughs> we'll get our tight bond glue. Open it up, pour some in our little whiskey glass, and it's good. Plastic shot glasses are good because once you use them, you throw them out. So you get a whole, I don't know, I don't know if you get a dozen or two dozen for a buck and a quarter now, but hey, why not? So now we're just going to do the old broke cream commercial stuff, and just a little dab will do ya. Just a little dab, seal off these wounds. And I like tight bond glue because it'll, uh, the tight bond glue will dry, will, will dry clear. I was going to say dry, dry. <laughs> dry clear. So let's do that. Just get it into where everything is, is kind of torn apart. Get the best we can. And it'll look like a piece of dead wood, but it's all right. A tree that went through through a storm, you could say. Get all that painted in good, nice and thin. There we go. Good thing about cheap brushes, you can throw them out once it's done. I mean, I could try washing it, but right now, just gonna put it in like this. There we go. So hopefully something will butt out over here. I have no idea. Hold on to that, Mr. Elephant. So, that should dry. I'll leave it in the basement for tonight and then bring it out tomorrow. Uh, maybe not. I'll just I'll let it just dry first for about an hour. Once it dries, then I'll put it out. And you can ask me what the tree was. I have no idea. Everything's torn apart. So we won't know until the leaves grow back. Might be a lilac. I hope it ain't Jay's maple that he gave me. <laughs> we'll find out because this thing is really totally wrecked. All right, Kevin, I know the video's getting too long. So today's Thursday night, it's book night. Grab a nice hot cup of tea, sit back, relax, shut, shut everything off, the phone, the TV, the YouTube, and sit back and take an hour. Take an hour just to read. <laughs> Get the mind relaxed. Calm down. Read something informative or... Read something for pleasure. Get an old Sherlock Holmes book and read that, or, or an old detective novel, or an old a novel that you like, and get a book that you can hold in your hands. Not one of these e-books. Just hold it in your hands and get the comfort of a good book in your hands. A bonsai book, anything you want. Do some research and just sit there with a cup of tea and do what you got to do. So, this stuff is dripping. Wipe the brush. Oh, 
nice. So we'll go from there, see what happens. I'll do an update, and I'll just put a tag there, unknown. <laughs> we'll see. You take care, everybody, and the terror from the unknown struck again. <laughs> take care and have a good night.